Oish. 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 Oh crap, I'm stuck. Hello, anyone. Mr. Skyson here, and welcome to uh, Kane Konoichi, or Red Woman, or Ninja, given the overall theme. It's a simple and fun little platformer about how to Neko that came out way back in, I believe, 2011? I actually remember playing a few levels of it back when it first came out on console. And now here we are, because I saw it came out on Steam at some point. That's pretty neat. In Akane Konoichi, uh, actually, you know what, let's just go ahead and start. You'll see the story. And menu here, options, standard options. Turn the music and sound on and off, graphics, etc. You know the drill. Credits. Simple credits. There you go, there's your credits. For the most part, you just go to their website, you can check out their credits. I'll be doing the links and stuff in the description. Achievements, I've already done a few just from just playing the first world. So yeah, fairly simple, most of them you can get just by playing the game. I like that. Well, sort of. I actually like achievements where you feel like you're achieving something, but whatever. Yeah, here's the three levels that I've already gone through, or, uh, stages? Acts? Yeah. World 1, Acts 1, two, one 2, and 3. Yeah, you got five worlds in the game, starting with Akamatsu Plains, because yeah, a lot of games start out in peaceful meadows, plains, you know, not a lot going on in them. I've noticed that. You never really start out that often in, like, high crisis areas. Then you have Goro Castle. That's a, that's a messed up looking background. Looks like it was hit by many explosives. Onward to Nocturne Forest. Spooky. Northern mountains. Very north looking and mountainy. I predict snow. And the final area, Hiromi's Manor. You're seeing this, right? Brick background, nice looking arches, you know, very classy, and then a lava floor. Who the heck would want a lava floor? Well, maybe kids, the floor is always lava. Yeah! Why do bosses always have such unpleasant looking areas? Why would you want to live in a place where everything is lava? I'm just saying, you, you hardly ever see a nice, classy looking boss area. Here's the intro. This is Goro. He is a samurai. Respected dude. Loved by the ladies. But also... Moving along. There we go. Very loved by Akane. I think that's her name. She is like his little bodyguard. Protégé. She serves under him. Until one day... Dun dun dun... Ah! Why did I just stand there and get hit? Oh no! And why did he just stand there not putting up a fight? And... That evil lady has jiggle physics, I just noticed. <laughs> Onward to Akamatsu Plains! Very Sonic the Hedgehog with that little bit right there. Yeah, welcome to the game! Top left, we have hearts. Uh, four damage, so you get hit four times, you're dead. Uh, you have infinite continues, but not lives. So if you lose all of your, all of your little hearts there, then that's it. You have to start the level over again. Next to that, top middle, you have the clock, five minutes per level. Fairly simple. Next to that, you have collectibles, okimonos. Not necessary to collect, but hey, games are fun with collectibles. Gives you something to do. And right down here, under me, bottom left, that's your ninja skills. Hiya! Look at me go! Wall of death. And because it's a ninja game, I can stick to walls. Unfortunately, you can't jump up the walls. You just jump away from them. You can't climb them, but you can slow your descent. I like this. Whoosh. If you get stuck to the wall accidentally, you can just slide down it quickly. And yeah, fairly standard game. Play standard platformer type thing. Hi, doggy. Jump, walk, and attack. And the uh, special. 
No real need to be using it too much right now though, the special I mean. This is the first level. Who needs to use up special abilities on the first level? Unless they just feel like messing around. Like I do. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Point blank, right in his face, giant wall of knives. Hey, how you doing? Oh no, ninjas! They popped up from nowhere. Whoa, doggy. That's a doggy. Yeah, I don't really need to collect these, but I'm just collecting them anyway. Just to show off where they are. And yeah, you got the levels. For some reason, we were in planes, but it's suddenly a maze. You got the doggy. They look kinda... Kinda interesting compared to the people. Like, different art style, almost. Ooh, something broke. Yeah, you get little things that you can break in the levels, and occasionally you will find power-ups. Now, I can throw three at once. Ooh. Some of them, like this guy. Uh oh That's not good. That's not good. Ah, he got me. He will attack you. Ooh. Right in the gut. And I am not wearing much. She shows a lot of skin. So she's going to have to see a doctor at the end of this, and I am doing very poorly. Yeah, there you go, little cat statues. Hey, cool. Two health from that. Yeah, little cat statues. You find them throughout the levels, you can break them, and get power-ups that increase what you can throw, time that I assume gives you a little bit of extra time, I wasn't watching the clock, and then health. There were two drops, so I got two hits back. Yay! Do, 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 do. Also, when you get the power-ups, oh, you start to glow. That's pretty neat. Oh, that was close. He almost threw his hat at me. Or he did, but he almost hit me. But then he didn't. Because I'm a ninja, and you cannot hit me with a hat. Dogs are a little bit harder to hit because they are lower, so you always have to duck down. Unless you just have a whole lot to throw. Hit them point blank. Pow. Like this. Normally, they would take three to hit, but since I'm throwing three, just get right in their face. Smack, they're dead. Pew. Like so. Only hit him with two. And I walk right through that guy. Screw you, you're not worth my time. I'm leaving. <laughs> and level complete. Oh, somebody sliced up the level completed. Onward to the next area. Or not, because rather than just going on to the next area, you go back to the level select. Because you can play through the levels as many times as you want. And you select... Whoa! That's a drop. And you select the level. You want to the... Oh, no, 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 no. I want the power-ups. I need the power-ups. Yeah, there we go. That's nice, look at that. Throwing five at a time. Oh yeah. It feels good. And you can throw stuff while on the wall, so that's pretty cool. I often forget to do that. I should really pick up on doing that more. Huh? Hey, get away from that kimono. I don't care if I've already caught it. Collected it. Whatever. I want it again. I'm greedy. Cutscene! Dun dun dun! Elevator level. Woo! It, for a ninja game, it is not entirely fast-paced. In fact, it is actually quite slow-paced. But I don't mind it too much. Not everything can be ninja garden. Whoosh. A lot of waiting around for this, though. Would have been nice if the, if the elevator here had been a little bit faster. Normally, I don't trust them, but I don't have much of a choice since I can't climb walls. Oh, he didn't see me coming. Ooh, more power-ups. Do I get more? No? What, wait, am I still... Why am I throwing four? Ah, there we go. No, 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 no. No, wait for me. It didn't jump. <laughs> well, let's try that again, shall we? Fortunately, when you die, you just start the level over. You don't have to go back to the level select for that. Let's try that again. Gimme. 
Any more? No? Okay. Onward! Whoosh! Her hands have got to be really sore. Well, no, she has gloves on, I think. Yeah! Ooh, back of the head. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I really don't know why I keep going after them. I don't... I uh, literally do not need to collect the kimonos anymore. I guess it's just obsessive nature. I like to collect things. You give me something to collect? Ow. Rude? Chalk in here. You give me something to collect. I'm going to want to collect it. And up we go again. Very simple. Simple type of platformer. Simple art style. The characters, for whatever reason, kind of remind me of the little people from Maple Story. Never really played the game, but I have seen a lot of stuff about it before. Down, puppy. Yeah, full power. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Duck. I will not go after those. I will just shoot them from here. They killed me last time. There's not even any power-ups over there. It's a trap. And my cape scarf thing seems to be made of gelatin. Because it's like stiff, like there's a lot of starch going on, but it also wiggles around. Hi puppies. Whoa, ninjas, from nowhere. It's like they're ninjas or something. Uh, it, it. Can I make it? Yeah, I can make it. Oh crap. Hatman. Ah, he hatted me. But then I got my power up back. Who's gonna pop up now? Dun dun dun. Whoa. They weren't much of a fight. <laughs> he might be. Nope. He doesn't see me. Hiya! Top floor, everybody out. And that's the level. Yeah, nothing terribly difficult. Although I think when the game originally came out and I played it, I think I may have gotten stuck on a level. I cannot remember. It's been quite a while. And onward to the last level, last stage of the first act. I never know what to call them. That's a lot of cat statues, though. So. Ogre! Hey! He's going to get me. Yeah, there's... Yeah, there's kimonos. I've already collected them. Not going to this time. I'm just going to run. He said run. Yeah, it's a running stage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Man, he's fast. Getting away from you. It does not take long for him to catch up. I can... I am able to just climb up to the top of that and uh, be away from him, but he'll still be around. Oh, well. He's dead now, so it's fine. Oh, clearing. Dun dun dun! He's back! Now it's the boss fight proper. Where? You have to throw in his face. Attack him in the face. Best tactic for anything. You got a bad guy you need to attack, attack him in his face. And that is a handsome face, isn't it? Look at that face. That is an expression right there. That's. That's the face of a guy. Who's trying to figure out if he just soiled himself, or if he sat on Mrs. Lewis's dog. Oh man, either I've done it again, or I have to get that old bitty another new dog. Either way, this is just not my day. Not only that, but with my eyes closed like this, I just keep running into walls. What the heck is hitting me in the face? Seriously, am I running through briars? What's going on here? My eyes are swollen shut now. Ow! I think I broke my nose with that. Why am I doing this? Pew! Ah, you fell on me. <laughs> oh, that would be funny, though. Fighting a giant boss, it falls on you. I think I have seen some games like that. But I mean, in a game like this, 
be fighting a giant boss, he falls. Normally it would go th right through you like that, but then it just crushes you. Whoops. Level complete. And it automatically sets you to the next area. Which I might be showing next time because... Actually, I will be showing next time because I believe I will make this into a series. I am really curious what's in this place and why they have all the floors as lava. Neat picture, but why? Why is that a decoration choice? But anywho, this has been Akane the Kanuichi. I hope you have enjoyed watching. I'll see you all next time, and remember to stay groovy.